today we're going to give you an encore presentation. We will take you to downtown Olympia. Uh, what it, uh, uh, we're going to show you what Olympia looked like before the earthquake. You know, when, when it's like 103 and 104 outside and it does get like that in Washington State sometimes, the best thing to do is to go shopping. And so we did just that even though it wasn't that hot at that time. And so we wanted to share that with you. So uh, my friend Margaret Brennan that you met on some of the previous, uh, which is one of my favorite artists, and um, she was nice enough to make the opening shot exactly for this purpose. And then sometimes as things happen, things get shifted around and changed, and of course we're flexible. And on her way to work, Margaret decided to drop in on us. So instead of this being a one-man show, it's a two ladies show. That's right. So how are you, madame? Very good, thank you. Nice for you to drop in again. Yeah, you make me. No, I'm joking. I make, you're right. <laughs> I, I have known to, you no, know. That's, so, that's life. We under, I understand perfectly. Persuasive, that's the word. That's right. Yeah, so that's why we get along so well, because yeah, we sort we of persuade each other to do things. Things, that's exactly it. Um, we, we have a rather long shopping trip for you today. And so what we're going to do, um, I'm going to ask Margaret, I should ask you how you are. Yeah, you ask me, I am fine. I already did? That's right. I'm excited, I want to get out of here. I, I want to go shopping. So, Let's go. <laughs> so, so excuse me. Um, um, I need to s tell you that I still have this obstruction in my throat, so when, you know, when I have these little problems, please bear with me. And, uh, but anyway, you showed me a picture of the shopping center that you yes. designed. Uh, can you share that with yeah, us? Yeah, this is a picture of, uh, from Krakow. And um, on the background is the oldest uh, shopping mall in Krakow. And in front of those umbrellas, I design. I designed this for uh, those like booth, but it was like contest for like ten di different countries, and I won contest. And this is interesting that you can those booth is for those people who cannot afford to to spend money for renting spaces like mm -hmm. you know mall or the other place. This booth you can take and put apart in few minutes. An umbrella after um, after a day. Uh, business when it's just closed, you can put umbrella on the level of those counters. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to take any anything from inside. And you can sell any products you want, like toys or food or flowers, anything. So kind of like the vendor's cards yeah. that we have in the malls here. Yes. So it yeah. was a 74 I designed this booth. You are a person yes. of lots of talents. And, oh well. <laughs> I, I want also to mention about that building behind. Uh, it is, the, like I said, the oldest uh, uh, shopping center in Krakow. Mm -hmm. They call Sukinice. And it's around, like you see, the small boutiques and inside also. And it's, it's beautiful. And some restaurant and coffee shop. So this is what I brought to share. Why, right, thanks. And then uh, on one of the other shows, we showed the 100 Wasser. Under Wasser in Vienna. Wasser yes. House. And that, you yes. told me that was a shopping center too? Yes, it is. It's very, it is your favorite. And I brought also one picture. This is a small picture. I took it. And behind is that, um, it's very small picture, but mm -hmm. um, it is Hunder Wasser uh, House. Mm -hmm. This is a shopping uh, center too. Just, you know, it's different level and, and small boutiques, but it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is your favorite and mine too. And this is my daughter in front of. Yeah, I, I think that's just wonderful. A bit the different colors and things. Yes. Uh, now that you, um, you had been ill a little bit, so now that you're back at work. Yeah. You was telling me the other morning you got up and you went to town. You wanna? Yeah, I just, uh, it was Saturday morning and I usually uh, work at home uh, cleaning and you know like all housewives and uh, I was uh, just I want to do something different I just don't want to do same breakfast and going watering my plants only I want to 
uh, to go to downtown and meet some people and have breakfast there, since I usually fix breakfast at home. And I, I drove to, uh, and I parked in front of Tradition Cafe, mm -hmm. but it was like 7.30 in the morning, was still closed. So I, I parked her over there and I took off and I started to, to wandering around uh, different places and some they were open. And one uh, first one which I stopped by, it was uh, New Moon Cafe. Mm -hmm. And I, there was few people sitting there for breakfast and I just came and I says, hi, I, I'm first time here today. My friend was telling me that I should uh, discover more often new places in downtown. So yeah. I just, I'm, I'm first time here. I would like to see menu. And she says, okay, you sit down, menu is on the table. We will, I will be there in the moment. And I had very good breakfast over there. I was really pleased. And some people came, some early uh, morning people mm -hmm. who, like me, and they, they had breakfast. And then the man came and uh, he ordered something. He was sitting next to me. And I just, I was reading newspaper and he looked at me and I look at and he says, hi. He was very friendly mm -hmm. and it was very natural, you know. And, and he said, um, he, br uh, he brought some uh, his art pieces just uh, with him. And he was looking, I don't know, he wants to review them or something. And I look at it and I says, can I see your pictures? You did make this? He says, yeah, that's my uh, art. And I said, you know, I like it. I really like it. And right away, the, James is his name. He says, I am working part time here in downtown, but I like to do art. And, and he says, do you want the, the, those pictures? Mm -hmm. I can give to you. Yeah, and he gave them to you. And you, I you, know. Let, and I was, let, I was shocked because this is the first business I stopped by. And it's early in the morning and people are relaxed. Good breakfast. And, and yeah, right sure. away I got a gift from him. So I was really, you know, I was a little surprised because, you know, it was okay. One picture is, it is uh, oil. Uh, Chuck. No, no, but I'm talking about, yeah, this is uh, mm -hmm. snail. Mm -hmm. he, Hold it well still now. Okay. He named the snail. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, so I said, James, I like it because, again, you know me with colors. Mm -hmm. I said, you're using only black as color, not just to mix with. And this is oil pastel. Okay. Yes? Yeah, it is. Okay, so this is one picture of James. Okay, and then I, you have a second one? Yes, and I got second one is landscape with water. Okay, this is another one. So water and um, yes, I yeah, it's very simple and I like it too. Both. I'm going to frame and and contact James that I because I want to tell him that I brought on your show. No, yeah. I ask him. I ask him in case if I will be on the show if I can show his picture. He he was very pleased to hear that. So, well, it's so, okay. so you just never know who you bump into early yeah. in the morning going downtown. Yes. I'm real excited and uh, cranked up now. I used that phrase at Jeremiah's show and he thought I meant dope when I said you got to get cranked up and we laughed about that yeah. for a long time. So what I mean is I'm ready to go and take you shopping and <coughs> the way it was filmed is I was your tour guide and occasionally I might add something really quick while you are viewing this I would like to let you know it's a long clip it's almost well about 30 minutes um, as it was edited uh, the final cut of it I had some technical problems um, and so there is two places that is not perfect so I'm asking you to bear with me because it was just too close to to the airtime here yes. um, for me to fix it so just please <coughs> excuse me bear with me and enjoy your shopping trip and in the meantime in the meantime while um here margaret i'd like for you to have a half a cup of coffee oh thank you and then <laughs> i'm just gonna have the other half and we can just sit back and All and right. 
And go on our trip. I like this idea. Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, yes. coffee got I to be know. so expensive. <laughs> yes. Unless you clip coupons, yeah. um, half well, a cup is all we can afford at times. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we like ready. It. All right. I can't pronounce this very good. I think it's called the bar. Here we have wonderful pipes. The merchants were Backers very from all over the world. This cooperative. Yeah. Lighters and accessories. To remind you, this is a shopping spree wine. prior to the okay. earthquake. Wine. This was located in Lacey right at the time. Now, how do you properly pronounce the name here? Le I bon immediately bon messed it up. Le bon? Bon? Okay. Now, this is an area that is very humid. Um, if it was hot, it would feel like a sauna. I'm not sure, but we'll ask the lady, and I'm assuming the reason for that is to keep the cigar fresh. Isn't that cool? Oh. This was also prior to our smoking ban. They're reasonable Spain. too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Australia? Uh, Lacey. California, Washington, and Oregon. I found some posters of people that smoke cigars. Here's President Kennedy. Tom Dubuque was the director. This was long before we discovered we had a, a wall that we could chroma key on. So we had weird things there. And this is Claudia Schiffer. I mess up everybody's name. Denzel Washington. Here's a man from the New York Yankees. Not a sports fan, so I never don't understand it, so I don't know who that is. Norris. Um, it's on Pacific Avenue, and it's a one. That's one of your favorites. Place. I'll give you a front view of it. This is no longer in existence. It's on, Ra on Lacey Boulevard, which is now Pacific, the one-way street. These are stores from Mexico, I believe. It's good for Y2K if you do need a stove. And the people are just wonderful here. This is a new collection of African art. So you can go from African art to art. To Indian art. Far east, you can go to the far east. Uh, you can go to Italy. To the universe. The sun and the moon and the stars. You can go fishing for a gigantic fish. Very no inexpensive. Do you have enough places to put your things? Handbags, handbags, and suitcases. So you're all set for your trip. And your stuff. The globe. I have my friend with me today, Ruth, and she's been in town for about 28 years. So she pointed out a little floral shop to me I had never been to. And that's on Pacific Avenue. 
with Davidson passed away uh, two or three years ago, I don't remember. Go inside. If you want to send your sweetie some flowers, they are just wonderful. Good Ruth, so also Davidson's car lot in the ladies. way to California. You got hearts by your sweetheart and... Prior to her passing. Oh, I love them. Real dainty, you know, small. Burglar house plants and candles. These things for small children. So when you bring your kids, just make sure that you're prepared to have them look at all the stuffed animals. Bring your checkbook. Here, and then a little over here, you have bird houses and things. Fella. Look at him, so cutie. He's an huh? ostrich. Cutie. Yeah. Let's go and look at him. Oh, he's so cute. This would be fun for the men if they want to build birdhouses and things. Or your garden and your birds and things like that. Birdhouses. This has really been a nice visit. And it shows you there are more things in a flower shop than just roses for your sweetheart. One of these little guys. Yeah, he is stuffed. Yeah, he's There's just also stuffed tapes animal. and music that you can sample while you're here. And if you like it, you can play it at home and it will cheer you on as you do in your work. Beautiful display. All the glass. <coughs> going the wrong way. Here you go. <laughs> downtown about the farmer's market, unfortunately. I don't like oysters. That's honey. Garden. And rocks for your sweetie. As soon as you get hungry, there's lots of food. The Italian. Cuisine called soba. Sandwiches. There's Bavarian worst. Worst. <laughs> so busy in town and noisy, you know. And that concludes our tour of the farmer's market. Avenue, this is Bartel. This is a man's shop here. It's a little noisy now, but it's downtown. It's long. This is Panovets, one of the oldest jewelry shops uh, in town. In fact, Mr. Panovets designed the ring for me in 1971. And there is Tarpets, the other very old beauty uh, excuse me, very old jewelry shop in Olympia. This place is called Skookum Bay Outfitters. That's they a have big store. Fish and tackles and things like that. And mm -hmm. Maybe we can take and it closer, was a so, casualty right now, in the earthquake. View, Bartels, the so we have color. Go to lunch at the Sweet Oasis, and Simply Australian is right next door. So let's see if we can go inside. First, come in the store. Uh, there's postcards and things from Australia. Simply Australian moved to Yale after the earthquake. Oasis oh, no longer exists. I guess it gives you a uh, listing of all the places. Kangaroo, let me see if I can get that for you. There you go, one kangaroo. Dresses for the ladies. Beautiful, Wonderful huh? Wonderful dresses for the ladies. Didn't think we was gonna leave out the gentleman. Of course, we're not gonna leave out the gentleman here. We have hats. We have great boots. And from what I understand, Australia is a very rugged country, so I'm sure that those boots is going to 
it lasts you a long time because boots are made for walking. Someone saying that. And then they are hats. The didgeridoos want to refresh your memory. We did a show with didgeridoos and Zachariah. And this was the place that I was introduced to him. Got excited. Rumi, now, I would like for you to know that I have eaten kangaroo on a regular basis when I was in Europe, and it is totally delicious. Um, you know how you say everything tastes like chicken? Well, not exactly, but close. Just told me it's not meat, it's toys, so I'm really sorry that I said that. But either way, if you ever get to eat kangaroo meat, go right ahead and taste it because it is really, really good. It's but good. these little cans are toys. So I stand corrected. More boots, more shoes. Wow. And then, of course, they have a didgeridoo concerts here, too, they tell me. And if you call, they'll tell you when those activities are here. So that concludes my tour of the Australian shop, unless I see someone on the way out. It's a fun place to come and shop. We go to the Sweet Oasis for spinach pockets. Five of the Sweet Oasis waiting for our lunch. It's cookies and more cookies. The Eastern atmosphere because that's what it is, a Middle Eastern restaurant. And, uh, on a Saturday afternoon, was, just being cheered on. I don't have a clue what they're doing, but here they go. And. Uh, going the wrong way and that's a dip and I have spinach pockets. They are really good, coffee. yeah. I it miss those delicious. spinach pockets. Bay. Mm -hmm. And this is for you gentlemen. You have boats. They kayaks. And paddles. He greets you. He's taking a nap right this minute. The Take security guard. <laughs> and life uh. jackets and binoculars. This is an outfitter's that's not there anymore. Bags, lots of sleeping bags, lots of books about hiking. Make sure you have a safe trip. And hanging on the wall. And I am 10 years older. Sitting outside eating lunch. And fluff and the new bus radiance. But let's go inside anyway. That's a nice Out. one. It's for every occasion that you can think of. Every spice imaginable. You can find here. Beautiful jewelry. Inexpensive. For any occasion. Herbs. Oils. The back with when you're in the bath and in the shower. Have a massage and also have an acupuncture treatment with Dr. Peter White. There's some for you. Wonderful books. Dalai Lama, Angela Davis, and oh my, there's my book. Mm -hmm. And the moral of the story is one person at a time. You can read about the Kundalini. Music selections. You can just sit and read and relax. There's an occasion. Nice cards they had. Beautiful crystals. Stuff. So we're gonna go next door and try to have a snack. Stuff. Before I'm wearing necklaces. A little place called Tease Me. And the, the gentleman tells me that's the favorite shirt everybody's buying. He was Stop really nice. Us. Isn't that cool? Music. Uh -huh. How about that? The lacy shirts are sold out. When you go fishing, you can take your lunch boxes with you. Line tapes. In a very long kind of pac man. Aliens this is on 4th Avenue, and oh here's my, my first oh, Google. Oh, my God, machine. I'm gonna... 25 cents. And I guess that was the other one. It's so big, I can't get it all. 
is at a little place. Actually, it's not so little. It's called Wind Up Here. These are all toys. And it's right next to Radiance. It's huge. It's between all toys here. Mm -hmm. With toys. Here we have dinosaurs with funny eyeball. Very busy place. Lots of books. <laughs> we didn't so know anything about Chinese toys know, being contaminated at that time. That are like myself, I have some of these on the ceiling in my classroom. For some more sophisticated, not sophisticated for older children. Lots of stuffed animals and things. And could have been for the beanie babies. Beanie babies. <laughs> I think they have something for everybody. Old, young and old. Art gallery. Found some fish and paintings. These are fish. I mean, really pretty. Yeah, Very windy by the now. State of the art gallery. Art off the display for the state of the art gallery. I believe that was both our days. The upper fifth. It has a tree house, pins That's and needles. Place, no? Russian clinic of massage. At Fifth Avenue, it says spices come in and sniff. I'm trying to tell you about, you can sit outside, and this lady makes juices from scratch and she sells them um, in drinks, and they just wonderful. Something in a basket. It says toilet tags. I don't know what that means. I still don't. <laughs> really I still delicious. don't know. So we're not going to bother her today. Yeah. But her juices are just beautiful. Well, that's not a good way to work for her. Juice, it's delicious. A little second hand shop. It's called a bargain hut. And I have came here to have great things. In fact I find some of my cup my kufu hats here. That's on Washington and I'm Street. Close right mm -hmm. now. I find the lady does speak Spanish. Faso, I didn't know what happened to him. But lo and behold he is in the downtown district. And yeah, let's see, there is beers and there is spice and wonderful things. Our sandwiches I came from dead today. Wonderful pastries. A curried lamb, chicken red wine dinner, a pork tenderloin. Wolf gangs. Not there anymore. Wonderful stuff he cooks. Um, lamb and lentil chili. So if you're in a hurry, just come to the wolf gangs and pick up dinner on the way home. I keep rolling my eyes at somebody. That's Ten years way. later, That's I don't right. remember who it is. Cool. And goodies and they are good. They are torts and, and cheesecake and you name it. Yummy. Again, <laughs> very soon. Okay. Okay, thanks. Nice to see you again. Yeah, same here. Come on. Uh, gallery. Cornerstone Gallery. Oh, we, we were they're the oldest cooperative gallery in Olympia. Uh huh. And, um, they were cornerstone pottery for many years and then they have a Expand it to include pottery and painting and some jewelry. Uh, we're, we're at this point in time soliciting for more members from the Olympia area or outside the Olympia area. Mm -hmm. How wonderful. Considering new artwork that keeps us fresh. Mm -hmm. Joan Robbins out of Seattle. Uh -huh. I have a friend, her name is Margaret Brennan, and we were just talking about That's you. find a gallery where we. Mm -hmm. You know, display all They're very inventive and artistic pieces. Mm -hmm. Then we have other potters who do more productive work, production work in cups and plates. Pretty, huh? Well, I was going to give you a really good shot of this mirror, and then and as turned out, I was in it. So we have to do it this way. And there you go. That's as close as I can get without having my head stuck in it. I thought it was all done. My head is so in the way. But I spotted something else. Isn't that beautiful? I missed it. Last week I missed it. No, um, I think that's uh, India and it actually has a name. I'm still rolling my eyes at somebody. Oh. And into this really I still don't know the name. lady sitting. In the window, okay, I the caught them. <laughs> I did. Which is right across the street from. And here's another boo boo from ten years ago. An art bookstore. 
or kinta cloth or anything like that. This is the place that comes. All kinds of bumper stickers. A lot of clothes are made out of hemp. No kaftans, unfortunately. A lot of imports from India. This is the display window. This one store. Problem. And you yeah. can get anything that you want. And if they don't have it, they'll order it for me. Look a little closer so a lady can say something to you and tell you how much you're missing. Just a minute. And the malls are overpriced. If you can come down here, it's cheaper and have an interesting atmosphere and a clean environment that is good for kids and great for mothers and grandmothers and even teenagers. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. You yeah, I have to away. apologize to her for the it technical problem. Right this minute, so. Try this. They were in on the cascades for you. So it windy. Exactly. It was a sign about the Evergreen Ballroom. I'm assuming it had not burned down yet. You can see this beautiful view of the castle. It's a place we talk about sometimes. Uh, traditions. They uh, were sponsored for many, many, many years. And so we thought we would give you an inside look. This is a gigantic butterfly. Paul, it's a kite. Mm -hmm. It's what appears to be a Russian dolls and things. This is Margaret Brennan's favorite hangout. It's oh, clothes, yeah. Uh, I forgot I said that. Lots of things from Tibet and India. I buy my kufus here. Drums. And hats. I have party favors. Masks. Sticks. They have sandwiches and things, and you can sit here. All in here, storytellers. On the last, for that the other day, I decided to come back to town and go to some of the places I missed. This is called Beau Yardine. I'm back in Washington now. It has unique, unique gifts. Mm -hmm. They were the sponsors for a while. I was lucky enough to run into one of the artists, and he's gonna. They have a cigar counter. That's a spa. Pipes. Hmm? That's cigars. Very so noisy. Also, from what I understand, it's one of the oldest places in Olympia. They're so and busy. If you go hungry, you can just stop and have lunch here. And they also have a newspaper counter here. It's a spa restaurant down down on 4th Avenue. Spa is the thing of the past. I found one in Yelp. On up on Capitol Way. I'm gonna see if we can take you to Wagner. And lo and behold, I run into a friend from up north Alaska. So, would you like to say hello to the friends? I would just love to say hello to the friends, Lily. And hi, I'm Christy. Hi, Christy. Hi, Lily. It's just lovely to see you again. We ran into each other shopping, as it were. Uh huh. And here we are again. So it is a very small world indeed. And we obviously notice the goddess in each other, and we're celebrating the same. So hi to everybody in Alaska, and hi to everybody in Olympia. Yes, and that goes vice versa, too, to all the friends. In Anchorage that we always acknowledge, so it's so nice to see you again, my friend. Thank you, and it's nice yeah. to see you too. Hi to Colorado, oh, too. They have foreign yeah. language cards, and I used to come here all the Those time. Those are your friends, no? Um, wonderful things here on Capitol Way, right next to the We no longer air in Anchorage, And you don't unfortunately. be by this lady. Beautiful glassware crystals. Cards. Stationaries and dolls, and here we have a whole orchestra. It's a really nice shop. Soap and beanie babies. These are Russian dolls, no? Yes. And you, when you open them up, there's one inside the other. Some in the stairs, some in five, seven, depending on sizes. Oh. My daughter has seven children, so one doll would accommodate the whole family. Whole <laughs> family, yeah. Oh, so, huh? Yeah. Oh. And Christmas ornaments all year round. 
brooches and amber bracelets and mm -hmm. silver watches. These are painted by local artists. Uh, we covered uh, we the ethnic festival. We saw some of those there. It's a really nice shop. books that we talk about all the time where we usually find lots of romper books. It is such a busy street. If you have mm -hmm. posters to hang or anything for the community, this is the place that you come and these are the little books that we put out here on a daily basis. And you have an espresso bar. We, we can order your drinks and just step to your left right here. Okay. There's a sitting area. I have let you just sit here and read some of these wonderful books that okay, they have. I have a book signing so there in September on the 11th. Easily, um, mm -hmm. It's easy to find and they're really nice and they help you if you're looking for something. Yeah, they for the metaphysical bookstores. That's why I'd signed autographs there. Tell you to ask for Lobsing Wampa books. Mm -hmm the crop circles, the UFOs, all the things that we talk about, you will find right here in this section. And it is a huge place. And then over here to your left, there are ca cards, activity books, children's books, more cards. And there you have it. Poetry, That's a busy place too. Fiction. Alternative lifestyles. Orca survived, of course. Even Monica Lewinsky is in the used bookstore already. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> I was almost gone. And I saw these things in the window My names again. come up a time or two as we speak. reviews by school children. They are hanging all over the window here. It just shows how involved they are with the community. I think that's wonderful. They, yeah, we should be supportive to people like that. You know. yeah. They were all over. Those, those reviews were everywhere. All the windows full. Yeah, I thought that was just great. I almost forgot about it. I come here to buy my cat food. That's the co-op. Mm -hmm. Co-op is a health food store. And you can buy everything mm -hmm. here as you do in another store. Except most of it is organically grown. There's ice cream. There is king, sing, cola. How cool. And then there's fruit and potatoes. Hands. <coughs> Excuse me. Ribbons for your hair, candles for romance, and vitamins. In lieu of Viagra. <laughs> and a deli. Lots of both. Yeah. Bon appetit. Our well, shopping spree today, um, this was my lucky day. I ran into uh, my friend Al here, and he's the artist of this painting. And I'm going to have him tell you in his own words the story. Al King is no longer this with us. Go ahead. This piece is called Child of Woe, and it was copyrighted in 1992. I originally sketched this, the idea for this piece while in the Army during the Vietnam era, even though the thought had been in my mind since childhood. I'm constantly asked what inspired me to paint it. If you turn on the radio or television news, or read the morning paper, or consider the many problems of the world, it should give you the basic answer. This was simply a way of conveying a feeling onto canvas, hopefully transmitting it to others. This is the closest explanation I can give since the inspiration came from within myself. I had a driving need to paint this. While you may or may not like it, it usually causes a viewer to think, at least momentarily, about the state of our world. The very fact that you are viewing this indicates you're not just curious, you're also a concerned and caring individual. 
If my painting helps people stop and think, it may help to bring about more caring and thus possible improvement in some small way. And that, after all, was the intention. Thank you. Yeah, hey, thank you. You know, it's like, that's the whole purpose for our show here, to make, make people think. And again, I really thank you for sharing this with us. My pleasure. Yeah, you know, what, oh. ha what happened was, uh, I usually only film things one time, but for some reason the gentleman insisted that we do it three times. And each time it, it, the picture, it seemed to change, it sort of transmuted because in a way it's of a really spiritual nature, you know. Eventually so I, I ended up with that which picture. Clip, you know, he was trying to help me yes. which one to pick, but they were all... There was different color even. Yeah, the colors changed. Green, green mm -hmm. much green. The other was very light. I, I was surprised. It, it was very etheric, you know. You could really tell that he had a little help and guidance from that. Yes. So what we did is we asked, um, I called him, and I asked him if, I don't know, can, if he would be nice enough to loan it to us for the show today. And so I want to see what our cameras can do with it because I really yes. think that, um, I think it's awesome, you know. It is. And he told the whole story. He, he told the whole story and I can almost see it a little better. Yeah, this is... Mm -hmm. how, how about that? That's pretty good, huh? Yes, no, possibly. So. It's, it's probably clearer now, but that day it was just so, it, it was very moving, you know. Yeah, I saw that free, those mm -hmm. free uh, picture which you took apart, but mm -hmm. like I said, it was different color even. Mm -hmm. So we really thank um, um, Al King um, for sharing this with us today and uh, it just caught my eye, you know. But the yeah. first time I went by there, it wasn't there. And then I suppose they had taken it out of the mm -hmm. window, you know. Okay. So this is print, is it? This, this, this is a yeah. print. Uh -huh. Because he did oil painting, large yeah. size, which I saw. The original is, is at the shop, and he's a, he's a delightful person. You can yeah. just go visit with him and, you know, oh, and, okay. and talk to him, things like that. Um, let's say, did we leave anybody out? Well, I don't know. Think about it. We can still, uh, I think that uh, those places you, you were showing, it, it was very interesting and many, many those um, uh, people I know very well since mm -hmm. I'm shopping and shopping and shopping. Sometimes just I'm going to, to, to talk to those people because I know mm -hmm. them. They are my friends uh, and yours too, I, some. Yeah, yeah. M most of them I'm more acquaint, you know, yes. they're just acquaintances. Um, like, you know, a lot of times we go on trips and we take pictures and yes. we bring pictures of faraway places and then we just overlook the wonderful things yeah. that we have in Olympia, you know. Yeah, uh, I like those small places, uh, not malls, because mm -hmm. they, they are very, uh, they have atmosphere. This, in Europe, many boutiques, they call boutiques. Boutiques, exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, and, and display is very important in those small businesses. Yeah, that's, uh, yes. that's what you do. Yeah, display. You know, in Europe, it's small windows and more attractive, I, I would say, merchandise, they are in the window. In the window. Yeah, that is how it brings uh, people to inside. Mm -hmm. Here are just, um, uh, but not uh, all of them because like, um, uh, farmer's market. You have mm -hmm. to merchandise something that will taste good and look good, fresh. So You have to go early. You know, they close yes. at 3 o'clock. So yeah. by the time we got there, I had taken my friend Ruth with me. Yes. They were closing up, so I just ran through there like crazy, you know. And yeah. um, But they were really nice to give me permission, you know. Yes. And anyway, you can just get a grab bag and, and just, and I see you brought your shopping bag today, so. Yeah. <laughs> I brought some those pictures in this shop. Mm -hmm. like. It's just it's just fun to do that, and and sometimes you know life is so stressful. Yes. And I found them to be not too expensive actually for yeah, the quality. Yeah, those few pieces. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're right. 
Yeah. You know, the focusing on shopping, some, sometimes, like you said, it is relaxing for sure. Mm -hmm. But um, those places which you visiting uh, very often, you, uh, you see some new, still changing, uh, mm -hmm. uh, like merchandise, and, and we are wondering what will be next. So. Yeah, and they're very accommodating. Sometimes they, you say, well, yeah. this is what I'm looking for. You know, give me a call if, it, if you don't have it. And, and, and you know, it's just been a really strange yes. day. And sometimes, you know, I'm a little forgetful. Yeah. And I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but if you notice, I have a telephone on my, he on my <laughs> <Yes>. hat. <laughs> and the reason for that is in case we get, um, did I say that already? No, not yet. Okay, then in my mind I did. So I'll <laughs> tell you, I'll yes. tell you verbally. The reason I have a telephone on my hat is so if we get too tired, we can do a mail order. Yes. And if it gets dark, <laughs> yes, I brought some lights. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You have always great idea, Lilian. Yeah. <laughs> so you can get all kinds of make me laugh. All kinds of. Well, yeah. actually, I got this in Illinois. No, not in Illinois, in Iowa. I oh. had went somewhere and totally forgot to wear my earrings. And there was a little, one of those li little shops there. Yes. And I think I paid 99 cents for oh, those. But really I thought bargain. they were so neat. You yeah, know? they are neat. My, yeah, my lights. Yes. Well, one more thing I want to mention about uh, European. I still, uh, coming back to European um, shopping cent uh, centers or small boutique. Um, that they are changing prices every week. Mm -hmm. And this is what is more attractive because sometimes first week you see something very expensive mm -hmm. and then you come in second week and, and it's just some percentage off of the price and then next week less and less. Mm -hmm. Of course, you cannot follow this because I like one dress one time and I was waiting what will be bargain and somebody mm -hmm. bought. So. But but they don't have sales like like we do like here. Now you, you listen. You can get computers. Yes. I mean, excuse me. You can get coupons of computers. Now you can print it right out. Yes. You know um, you have value packs that come in the mail. It might be as junk mail, <laughs> but there is a place in Lacey um, uh, that has coupons in there at all time. Now we've been talking about the European thing. Yes. You know the one place I neglected to go to. Uh, I was just my back was killing me. I couldn't do it <laughs> anymore. You know, is the import shop. Um, yes. They have African art. Oh, that um, is also my favorite place. Yeah. So maybe we, I can do a clip for the next. Oh, time. that would be mm -hmm. good because he has really very interesting yeah. thing. I just bought last time some African mask and small basket. Very beautiful. Yeah, this is very. He got two shops, one in the mall and one here, one down on Capitol, mm -hmm. next to uh, uh, Archibald S Sisters. Right next yes. to the Archibald Sisters, and very we didn't good quite store. make that one either. Yeah, next, maybe next time. Mm -hmm. And it was so windy, you know. It yeah, was so, so windy. Was not mm -hmm. good. And I'm not sure, but I believe the bikers. I saw on the news later that some people were bicycling. Killing, oh, that's a big word, yeah. <laughs> across the country for AIDS. And I'm oh. just wondering. So if that is they what you caught on the. Part of that, uh, on uh, camera. But I couldn't say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we have concerts in the park. Yes. You know, Jefferson Park. Hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Downtown. Yeah. Uh, in Olympia, it's a really nice place. It's with in driving distance of Bestport, yes. the uh, Salmon Capital. Yeah. Ocean Shores, yeah. Aberdeen, um, let's see what else. This is kind Yelm. of for the friends Yelm. that don't yeah. live here, so Beautiful they have a general shops idea. shops and boutiques in Yelm. Where we're located. Um, wonderful buildings. 67 miles south of Seattle. And and so, so the friends from Colorado and other places. Um, actually, of some of the shows um, are going to some of the friends in Australia. Yes. India, Portland. Canada. Yeah. I forgot one. In England. Yeah, mm -hmm. how about French store? Do they have a restaurant in the town? La, yeah, there is, there is one little French restaurant here. Yeah. The only problem is uh, with the ones we sent to Europe, they have to be converted. Um, their VCI is on a different, uh, what yes. do you call that? Frequency, yeah. That's what um, I was It's called system. Now. Different system, system yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, there is two systems and, and video has to be, yeah. I mean, change in Europe for, yeah, so for those systems. 
all the trouble they have to go to just to say hi to us. I really think that, uh, um, you know, appreciate that. And, <laughs> and now that we, you know, we are a series, uh, meaning <laughs> yes. that even each each visit stands on its own, but some kind of way they all connected. Yeah. Just like the people that pop into our lives, I you know. know. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I recall right now how is uh, goodbye in French, au revoir. You remember? That's this it. is from previous mm -hmm. that I, I forgot. Okay, that is what I try to tell you. It's not time yet for mm -hmm. that, but I just recall. Yes, I like French restaurant. Mm -hmm. I wish that would be a, little, a few more in, or I don't know if even is one, I, I think, in town. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got a little bit of everything, and Olympia is rich in. Uh, Oh, it's growing. Well, yeah, it's growing. The yeah, different kind of businesses. Have, yeah. Then you have the capital, uh, which I had never been to in all the 30 years I lived here, until <laughs> we went up there and we taped the, the eight quilts when they mm -hmm. were here in the capital building. In the capital, you yes. know, in the yeah. Uh, yeah, in the capital building. Inside. But I don't know. If there's a word for the for that building. Yeah. Rotunda. The capital. The, the capital. Yeah, but yes. there's another word. Oh yes. Um, mm -hmm. Capital chamber or something like that? No. No? Well, well, I'm everybody know what yeah, we are talking. I, what it is, yeah, you know. Yes. So. And things are really... Uh, a vast majority of, of lots of people. Then, of course, most of the traffic is in Lacey. Yes. So on Monday and Friday at 5 o'clock, just go to a restaurant, just wait it out because of the traffic is a little crazy, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Try Tom Water yeah, in 2008. Almost metropolitan now, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you have some favorite restaurant maybe in the town? Or you just like to go to different places? Well, it kind of changes. Uh, right this minute, I like spinach pockets. Oh. Um, we used to have European restaurants here a f years ago, and yes. then I would go there. And, uh, it was in the in downtown, some place. There was one in Lacey, I think. Oh, it was Lacey. called yeah. uh, the Black Forest. Oh, I thought I never. Mm -hmm. th that was a few I years ago. There. We had that, and uh, uh, let's see. Then after that, uh, well, you know, I smoke, oh, and so. so my visiting of restaurants has sort of shrunk. It got a yes. little more limited because yeah, I do smoke. Because of and, that, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and, I don't like those uh, days are over to eat and run like fast food drive to <laughs> I know you know so we can smoke you anywhere sit down and relax and visit and when you do smoke then I got more option because I am not smoking so I can go to any places mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah I but they have cigar bars now in Lacey in Lacey oh. I, I, I believe there is a cigar Le bon bar Vie is that place you label no a cigar bar is a place like oh, a, like a tavern, like a lounge, hmm. uh, where people go eat and you know drink and have cigars and, and smoke cigars. Oh. Mm -hmm. A thing of the past in 2008. Yeah, really? it's been there for a little while, from what I understand. Good. You know? mm -hmm. So we have nice places in Olympia and Lacey mm -hmm. to go. A and eat. museum for the children. Yes. You yeah. know, wailing walls. Um, yeah, I remember that 19 years ago when I came here. It was really. Uh, there was uh, businesses which I remember from mm -hmm. the time, but now is more and more different kind, and and they are really pretty good. Mm -hmm. So that's good. So I guess we have that other half a cup of coffee, and <laughs> excuse me. So, Margaret and I would like to encourage you to just start, you know, going downtown and um, stop us and speak to us because. <laughs> well, you've been here enough where people should recognize you. Yeah, okay. yeah, this is my third time. Mm -hmm. So, And um, again, I need to tell you how much we appreciate that you come and visit with us every week, um, if, even though it's a busy summer and uh, my garden is growing just wonderful. And uh, so if you have any story ideas, if you have any comments, or if we left out any of your favorite shops, maybe you could let us know. And uh, we'll just try it again. And uh, we'll go out of town. And uh, let's see, there's another place. But in Tacoma, it's called uh, the Freight House Square. Get something else that might be hmm. worth looking into. 
And so there isn't really all that much left to do. Yes. Uh, then tell the friends, you know, we, we see them later and get the clip in those coupons and okay. in the sales. And, mm -hmm. All right. Well, you just dropped in today, so you was running, you know, we all yeah. went today. And, um, in 2008, so market is caucusing today. for Barack I'm Obama. I'm sure I forgot somebody, but that's okay. I'll, it'll just make room for next time. Mm -hmm. yeah. We always have to edit some for the next show. Mm -hmm. Yeah, before we say our final goodbye, what would be your your top recommendation? Well, I I recommended um, places which are not very expensive, not very fancy, with good atmosphere. Doesn't matter if this is restaurant, mm -hmm. but something that is sometimes those fancy re restaurant um, uh, make us a little nervous. I recommended places which are maybe not known yet, but they are very nice mm -hmm. and good service and some kind of different food because. Uh, I see my friends are always eating same places or like, like Red Lobster or they are having some mm -hmm. favorite restaurant. But I think it's too much. Uh, we should try different places and then to have comparison and, and see if we may be like something else. Mm -hmm. Also with like art gallery or, or clothing uh, department or store or boutique. Because there's variety on you. We don't know yet all those businesses to look at. Yeah, so, and yeah. you know, if, if we didn't cover everything for you, just go see for yourself. And uh, we just wish you a remainder, a wonderful remainder of the summer. And um, we see you downtown yes. while you're shopping. And yeah. for today, adieu. Do widzenia in Polish. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Yes. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this little reminiscence of. Olympia before the earthquake. Bye-bye.